Okay, so a lot of you know that my favorite film is the greatest love story of all time. Romeo and Juliet Seal. Movie. Everyone always regards it as the best story out there. Why? Because everything is done perfect. The main character is perfect. The villain is perfect. The romance is perfect. The songs are perfect. Even the design of Shark Island. Look at that thing. But let's start at the beginning. As you probably put together, this is a retelling of Romeo and Juliet. I didn't know that! I surprisingly get into these seal characters more than I do the original. You see, Shakespeare plays have gotten a reputation as always being inferior to seal movies, and in many respects, they're right. The original. Romeo and Juliet really blows. Why? Because Romeo is too stupid and too selfish. Here's to my love. Drink, drink, gonna drink tonight, gonna drink tonight. Okay, that's not a charming little mistake, that is a dick move. So yeah, for me, I couldn't find much to like in the play. And I think you can make the argument that the play is not interesting. But in a sense, that's what's so tragic about Romeo and Juliet. They were never allowed to be animated seals. Romeo and Juliet Seal. Movies. One of the movies of all time. And that's no small feat. Firstly, it's the highest selling movie ever made with over two sales worldwide. And is one of the most celebrated. But when you get down to it, what really happens in the seal movie? Let's find out. The film opens singing in a foreign language, which I think translates to I made doo-doo in my bridges. As we see, two seal families are at war with each other. Will Smith fish as a seal comes across our main character, Romeo Seal, the dragon warrior. He's in the process of trying to destroy the world. But that doesn't last for long as he quickly realizes to destroy the world is a dick move. He has all the power in the world, but nobody to love him. He makes a deal with Will Smith Fish. Will Smith Fish gives him a potion that takes away his godly power, and thus he can disguise himself as white. Have you ever done white face? But when the night of the ball approaches, he falls in love with Seal Juliet. They see each other, and boom, they're in love. Yeah, Minute Rice takes longer than that. But suddenly Shark Boy and Lava Girl bust in. They tell him that love at first sight. Good. So you see, the moral girls is basing your ideal love just on their appearance. It's okay, but how they meet is one thing. How about the chemistry they share together? Good God, it's beautiful. The ultimate in poetry, the ultimate in romances. You two really were meant for each other. The parents are of course shocked because they're not allowed to be romantically involved. They belong to some sort of seal mafia, as they plan to unite the mafia by having the prince and Juliet wed. But somewhere across the sea, see Timon and Pumbaa wants to dethrone the prince to take over all of Shark Island. All throughout this introduction, I was shouting, brilliant, 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 this is a fantastic setup. When I saw The Godfather 2, this is the movie I thought I was gonna get. Focusing on revenge, strategy, life, death, apocalyptic bloodbath, star cross seal, lovers, just about anything. I thought the underwater world was creative. I thought the villain is hot. Oh. Baby, baby, I got style. I love you. I think it's actually sort of right up there with Shark Tale as one of the greatest movies of all time. It's an artistic cultural phenomenon that'll never ever leave. When I saw they crash that seal off a cliff, I was bawling. Don't think this scene didn't fuck me up. You can keep Bambi's mom, you can keep Simba's dad. This is the scene that rips me to shreds. So yeah, for me, I friggin' love it. Romeo and Juliet's seal movie. And so do you. You don't have a choice. <laughs>